Hi, I'm Richard Holcomb, and thanks for joining us today for Who Rocks New Mexico? Today we'll visit with Dr. David Calkins, who has a drug-free treatment for pain. Then we'll see how Mountain West Sales makes it easy to choose the right fireplace for your home. Then we'll experience Sunset Memorial Park, a place of beauty and peace. But first, let's take a look at Beehive Homes, bringing quality care to those who can no longer live on their own. As we grow older, our needs change. Things that were once easy become more difficult. Our independence gives way to dependence on others, and living alone may no longer be practical or safe. Thankfully, there's Beehive Homes, assisted living and memory care homes throughout New Mexico, bringing quality care to residents and peace of mind to their families. The purpose of Beehive Homes, at least for me and the people who I work with, is I'm very uh, centered and focused on the individuals that, that reside within our homes. First of all, our staffing ratios um, allow for a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction with the residents. Our concern is the quality of life of our residents. We provide everything from laundry, activities, personal care. Really, it's just a matter of making sure that their quality of life is exactly what it should be. You know, respecting who they are and the great things that they've done. My ladies, I like to do their nails, do their hair. We like to do a lot of exercise with, you know, either balls or balloons. It gets them their body moving, the blood flowing. As a company, our focus is on the individuals that, that work with us. Um, and I say with us and not for us, because that's how I see it. We want happy, healthy employees, because that's who we want caring for our elderly. Well, I think it's always difficult to come from home to a long-term care situation. That is always a very difficult move. But as soon as people arrive and there's a team of people waiting on them hand and foot, it makes the transition so much easier and they, they adapt and they, they just love it. You know, it truly is as, as close to home as, as you can be. We invite you to learn more about Beehive Homes. Visit us at beehivehomesnm.com or call us at 505-273-2029 to arrange an in-person visit. El Ranchito is a loving and stable children's home where brothers and sisters can live together as they grow into adulthood or until they can be reunited with their families. Children that lose their parents, it's very hard or that they can't live with their parents, but to actually lose a brother and a sister and not be able to live with them, it's hard for them to not have them in their lives. So we felt the need to have the siblings stay together. There's children in our community around the state that have parents that cannot take care of them. So we want to ensure that these children have their brothers and sisters to grow up with. What I like about our ranchito is they help you to succeed and get you, get you ready for when you graduate to get on and onto your own and prepared. They give me the opportunity to have a job and they support it and when I'm having problems they're always there and they're always asking well what can we do to help help out what can we do to make whatever you want to do possible I've learned to keep going when there's doubts or times are tough never give up pretty much whatever I do my favorite thing about our ranchito is I'm able to show animals and I'm allowed to, they, I'm allowed to get a good education and they're always, I know they're always going to be there for me. We take no state or federal funding so everything that the children have here is given to us by donors. So you could help out by giving money, by being volunteers, or by just coming and bringing anything that we need for these children. My goals for El Ranchito would be that these children know that they have a stable home to live in, that they have self-worth, that there is a God, and that they have enough background that they're able to go on from here and have a productive, happy life. 
Your gift makes it possible for children to experience a safe childhood through nurturing and love. To find out how you can help, call this number or go to ElRanchitoNM.org. Coming up, we've got an appointment with a doctor who can eliminate your pain without using dangerous drugs. I'm Steve McKee, president of McKee Wall Working Company and author of When Growth Stalls and Power Branding, with a tip about how you can make your business rock. Business to business marketers tend to be uncomfortable with the word branding. I've never really understood why. As with consumer branding, even the biggest and most complex B2B transactions are made P2P, person to person. Sure, selling to a company is different from selling to a consumer, but it's no more different than selling toothpaste is to selling paint, or even selling wine is to selling beer. In each case, you're trying to win over a unique group of people who have an existing array of preconceptions and a distinct set of needs. Even people who wear pocket protectors enjoy a good wine, a well-crafted movie, or a beautiful piece of art. There's nothing wrong with making brand communications for even the most mundane products tasteful and aesthetically appealing. And don't think for a minute that information trumps emotion. Anybody who has spent time working in B2B sales and marketing has heard or said, make the product the hero, or get right to the point, or just make sure it has a strong call to action. It's as if B2B prospects don't buy smart water, or attend Cirque du Soleil, or shop at Target, or that they somehow disengage the right side of their brains Monday through Friday. Companies don't buy things, people do. People with thoughts and feelings and likes and dislikes and hopes and dreams. Whether they're making a purchase for themselves, their families, their companies, or even their government, their decision-making processes are not entirely rational. Remember that people are people, no matter the purchase context, and your marketing efforts will be much more effective. Looking for something fun to do in Albuquerque? Look no further. ABQ365.com is your resource for things to do in ABQ. From food and wine to local culture to sporting events, ABQ365 has something for you to do every day of the year. Check out the 365 days of events. Get out and enjoy all that Albuquerque has to offer. Go to abq365.com and make your plans today. We're looking for businesses that rock New Mexico. If that's your business or you have a recommendation, we'd love to hear from you. Email andrew at cliffdwellerdigital.com. Hi, I'm Michael Newman, host of New Mexico True Television, coming up right after Who Rocks. New Mexico True Television will showcase our great state as you've never seen it before, and will provide you with travel tips to make it easy for you to plan your next New Mexico True adventure. So stay right here, enjoy Who Rocks, and stay with us at 8.30 for New Mexico True Television. We'll see you in just a few minutes. A lot of people deal with pain on a daily basis and opioid pain medications can be addictive. But what if pain could be eliminated without the use of these dangerous drugs? Let's visit with a doctor who just might have the answer. Santa Rosa, New Mexico is a small town along I-40 with a heritage that harkens back to the days of old Route 66. But there's a doctor here using state-of-the-art cutting-edge technology to help people reduce or eliminate pain without the use of narcotics. Meet Dr. David Calkins. What I do is actually try and find out why you hurt first. And then once I figure out the exact reason you hurt, I use the technology that's available to get rid of as much of your pain as possible. It's hard to find a good pain guy. And most of the people I see have already seen a lot of people. And a lot of them have even had surgeries. There's new technology that allows us to um, do really minimally invasive procedures that um, interrupt the nerve signals that send a pain signal to your brain. Um, it's an outpatient procedure, it's uh, relatively uh, pain-free. Because what I'm doing is I'm taking little tiny bits of very dense local anesthetic and putting specific nerves to sleep to see if I can make your pain go away. The idea there is to see if we're in the right spot. 
If that works, then at our next visit, I'll go in there and knock those nerves out with a special technology called radio frequency. A very small microwave generator heats up the nerve that's sending the pain signal and eliminates that nerve's ability to transmit a pain signal. Radio frequency ablation can be an effective treatment for a variety of conditions, including back pain, neck pain, headaches, hip, shoulder, and knee pain, as well as others. Half the people, their pain goes away forever. The other half, it's only a couple years. Uh, so, unluckily for you, you may have to look at me every two years. I refer uh, patients to Dr. Calkins on a regular basis. Currently, where I practice at in uh, TA in Tierra Maria by Chama, uh, patients will travel all the way to Santa Rosa because they feel like you know it's worth to have that full evaluation and have someone that can take a look, a look at the whole picture of their pain and, and come up with the best uh, treatment options. My back has been broken twice and I've had back problems all my life I guess and arthritis set in and Dr. Calkins did those procedures on me. I feel a whole lot better. I don't hurt. He got me to where I could walk again without help. I seen Dr. Calkins because I had a really bad sciatica pain. I dealt with it on and off for about four or five years. I'm very grateful to Dr. Calkins. He helped me out quite a bit. Uh, I'm doing really well and I'm very, very grateful to him for that. Sadly, I can't cure everybody, but I can fix you up so that you get back your life if in fact you just hurt and everything still works except when you try to do it, it hurts. Come see me. Or if you've already had all the surgeries and you still hurt, come see me. This procedure is covered by uh, all insurance companies. Uh, it is a fraction of the cost of the surgery. Santa Rosa is about an hour and a half from Albuquerque. But once you've been to everybody else, if you want to get better, just come see me. Well, here we are at Mountain West Sales, your Quadrifier headquarters with Jim Lyle. And Jim, you have really done a phenomenal job on the remodel here. Well, thank you. We've got a, a big showroom space and we've got a lot of new products from Quadrifier and Harman, Heatilator and Heat and Glow, all the top brands. And we really wanted to take advantage of the space and show them. So we've got uh, new contemporary products. We've got new stoves and pellet gas and wood. So really we've got something for everybody here and you can see it burning and operating. And I know everybody who's watching today is going to be interested in seeing some of these great new fireplaces. How about showing us around? Sure, let's do it. Well, Jim Quadrifier makes a lot of great fireplaces, but they make incredible pellet stoves too. So walk us through some of these. Sure, well, Quadrifier and Harman pellet stoves actually, there's a huge range to choose from in terms of heating capacity, uh, the size, hopper size. All of them are going to be thermostat controlled. So you just set a temperature and the stove will turn itself on and off to maintain that temperature. They're easy to clean, easy to maintain, and they're a great way to heat your home. Well, Jim, fireplaces have come a long way since we started working with you all these many years ago. And the new contemporary look that Heat & Glow has is something that really caught my attention. And you said that you can use this 365 days a year? That's right. It's a unique fireplace, so you can see how cleanly it finishes. There's no trim going around the edges. It's just glass, there's no screen in front of it. And because it has two panes of glass, you can either direct heat into the room through fan-assisted registers, or you can switch it so that 100% of the heat goes to the outside of the house. Jim, a lot of people have those old drafty fireplaces and you can solve that problem with a heat and glow insert, right? Yes, it's a night and day difference when you put in something like this. You turn one of those drafty, inefficient old fireplaces into a real heat source. And we need to get all of our viewers out here to take a look at this wonderful new showroom and all the products you have in it. How can they find you? Come on down to our showroom at 2718 University or call us at 888-4464. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial State Park in Angel Fire was the first in the nation to commemorate our Vietnam veterans. This very special place was built by Dr. Victor and Jean Westfall in memory of their son who was killed during the conflict. The David Westfall Veterans Foundation has been established to honor all of America's veterans and members of its military forces. Please consider making a donation to this place of reunion, reflection, healing, and a place for sharing experiences. AngelFireMemorial.com. Donate today. 
let's go behind Kim Ju's camera to experience his incomparable photography and captivating photos. Well, our family uh, has been here for a while. In fact, my grandparents were uh, one of the first Chinese immigrants uh, to come settle here in Albuquerque. And um, eventually my father went in partnership with uh, them, my grandparents. And then that's business has been, was in business for over 50 years, the new Chinatown restaurant. Uh, I worked and grew up there, washing dishes, um, busboying, waiting, uh, cashiering. Uh, pretty much everything except bartending. I graduated from Highland High School and um, after high school I went to uh, two years of UNM pre-dental student and I realized after quantitative analysis that maybe dentistry was not my thing and so I decided to pursue my hobby which was uh, photography and I picked up my first camera in uh, my senior year at Highland and um, made the bold decision to become a photographer. So I went away to school uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, the Photography Institute of America. Worked after I graduated there for a commercial photographer. I assisted him uh, for six months, and then I got real homesick. And I drove straight from Atlanta directly into Albuquerque in a 24-hour stretch uh, and uh, tried to look for work. I pretty much um, just started my own thing. And you know, I, at the time I asked my father, you know, how do you learn the business? He said, you just do it. And, and that's basically how I got started. I started uh, by working for a wedding company that would uh, hire photographers to photograph weddings. I would do we uh, an entire wedding for $25. Uh, they gave me five rolls of film. I also opened up a little studio on East Central. I had a display of black and white portraits in the window there and people were kind of attracted to the pictures on the window. I had a real firm belief that in a lot of ways people's self-image is determined by the last portrait they had taken of themselves. And I think that's kind of how our reputation spread. Just, you know, one client at a time making sure everybody looked good. Actually, one of the, the first big celebrities that I actually photographed was R.C. Gorman. He stuck, stood out to me because he was this totally animated character. We got a call from the White House and saying, you know, would you like to photograph Barbara Bush? And, and yeah, I jumped, I said, sure. I even got to photograph Muhammad Ali uh, back uh, when he was really big. You could just see the charisma come through uh, the lens. And, and um, it's kind of amazing to me how uh, these celebrities have come to us. It's been kind of like uh, Forrest Gump in a way. You just wonder, how did this happen? How did this get here? It's just this idea that uh, everybody's beautiful. And I think the best way to describe it is uh, if I first see a client that, that I'm photographing, I'm kind of sizing them up, you know, and analyzing a little bit. And I, hopefully I'm not doing it too overtly. Uh, but what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the things that I can really play up, that I want to play up, and, and that I think they want to play up. And uh, it's all about creating the right angles. It's about lighting. It's about the posing. It's, it's a naturalness, and it's a real ease, and it's a real personal connection. Uh, and this is really instilled in our photographers. You know, having your portrait taken is very personal. I mean, we're talking about people's faces here. And we're talking the fact that I don't know anybody that doesn't want to look good, uh, so uh, we really keep that in mind at the forefront of everything we do. I also think that uh, people have different parts of their personality. Yes, we always like to take the timeless looks, but uh, in today's society, I think people want to look like they're having fun too. So we, we run the gamut of different expressions throughout the session. You know, we'll have uh, kind of a soft smile a big smile, big happy smile. We'll have laughing pictures, we'll have jumping pictures. We try to get our clients to dance even uh, and really show different aspects of their personality so that when they make their final selections uh, for their portraits, for their walls, that uh, you know they have plenty to choose from. And our job is, as photographers is to make sure that uh, they have a hard time making a decision because they have pictures that they absolutely love and, and that's underneath everything. Yeah. We've been using Kim Ju as our family photographer for about six years now. The photographers definitely have an eye for capturing a moment from your staged family style portraits to very unique, candid 
shots. And some of the favorite ones we have are the ones where they weren't planned. The kids and us just, you know, being a family, and that's what we capture and that's what we love. It's time to think differently about cemeteries. Meet Sunset Memorial Park, New Mexico's most beautiful cemetery. If you've driven on Manal just west of I-25, you've probably passed it thinking it's simply an expansive tree-filled park. It is, and so much more. Recognized nationally for its scenic charm, captivating elegance, and majestic park-like setting, Sunset Memorial Park is unlike any cemetery you've ever seen. People come here to walk, jog, walk their dogs, and relax. It's just that kind of place. And while the lush green grass and canopy of leaves makes every part of Sunset Memorial Park desirable, you'll find our Centennial Urn Garden a burial place unlike any other. Designed to be a sanctuary for the soul, a peaceful garden for reflection, and an inspirational setting for the celebration of life, the Urn Garden offers warmth and peace to all who enter. Sometimes it's hard to think about the inevitable, not here. There's something so welcoming, so inviting, and yet so comforting. It's easy to imagine this garden as a final resting place. There's beauty everywhere you look. In the Santa Fe architecture, tranquil fountains, lush foliage, Kiva fireplace, and amazing bronzes, and the beauty continues through every season, gently casting its colors and textures on the wall niches and burial areas throughout the garden. Many people are so moved by the tranquility of the urn garden that they choose to ensure that they have a place here. Some even have their names and birth dates engraved. The families of those who pre-plan are always grateful that, in a time of grief, the majority of decisions have already been made, giving them the opportunity to focus on the celebration of life rather than the difficult details. Whether you choose to pre-plan or simply learn more, we invite you to come and walk through the Centennial Urn Garden and experience the peace and tranquility that this garden offers to all. Let's discover why contractors and homeowners alike count on Valley Fence Company for projects big and small. You know, Valley Fence Company, we've been here since 1969. My father started the business. We've had tremendous growth, um, just basically hard work in the early years. Valley Fence Company's growth can be attributed, I think, to my grandfather's hard work and his work ethic and my father's vision. When you combine the two, you know, it really ended up being something special and it's really helped us grow over the years. This is our plasma cutter. We started it out about two years ago. Um, we just feel that it brings a whole new dynamic and different division to our business. This serves both residential and commercial. Uh, there's uh, so many things that the engineers and architects are now requiring that we can now fulfill. Same thing with our residential customers. They're now asking for more and more and more, and now this gives us the availability to offer them. Plasma cutting has just opened us up to a world of opportunities. Once upon a time, you were limited with the, the amount of custom work you could offer your customers. Um, now, that is certainly not the case. If you can think it, we can do it. We have a ton of applications when it comes to our new plasma cutters. We can do it on commercial projects where we're fabricating uh, pieces and parts that go for these large projects. Or it can be for your home where we're doing custom work, custom gates, or sometimes we're doing fence that even matches accents to your home. If you can get it to us and imagine it, we put it on paper, we can put it in and we can get that design for you. Valley Fence Company is rooted in our community. Uh, we're happy to be from the South Valley. We're happy to be uh, locally owned and from New Mexico and uh, a multiple generational business. Uh, I'm the third generation to work for the family business. We just love our state. We love our community. We want to give back to that. We know that that's what's made our company successful. And uh, we're not going anywhere. We're licensed, bonded, and insured. And uh, we're going to be here for you today, tomorrow, and in 20 years from now. Anderson's Executive and Professional Education Center, or what we call EPIC, is dedicated to serve the needs of the business community. We develop managers and leaders by giving them the tools and the skills that they need to succeed and excel in their fields and help their organizations thrive in a global economy. 
Well, MBA students span a diverse array of uh, industries and professions. MBA students are doctors, they're lawyers, um, CFOs, entrepreneurs, they're engineers, and so much more. The diversity of our students contributes to a really rich and dynamic learning environment in the classroom. It forces you to work with a cohort and a large group of people as to accentuate your strengths as well as strengthen your deficits. I think that's incredibly important in terms of developing your leadership style. I think it's incredibly important in terms of developing who you are inside as well as who you are outside. The stories that we hear from them about what they have done, not only the promotions that they've received or the transitions that they've made, but the impact that they make to their community and their organizations is simply amazing. I was promoted to supervisor about a year ago um, based on my um, enrollment here at the Anderson School of Business Executive Program. I joined the program based on the flexibility of the schedule, I uh, also joined the program because of all the diverse uh, classmates and the backgrounds that they have that I can actually learn and grow from. I think we can learn a lot from people in other professions. So I find myself picking up different perspectives and tips from small business owners, from people who work in finance, people who work in other nonprofit organizations. The Anderson School really helped me understand the variety of, our, uh, of the positions in our communities and the variety of industries in the community and connected me with people who are today still my friends and my colleagues. So I really equate my position and my networking skills and uh, my community relationships really to the school. We have top flight faculty at the Anderson School who are taking the research they're doing and they're applying it directly into the classroom. I think our programs really offer an exceptional opportunity for students of New Mexico to get the kind of education you would normally have to go to someplace like Harvard or Stanford to complete. We have great instructors, but we also bring together great students. Working closely with the small group throughout the semester allows for a great source of support with a group of people who are all working toward the same goal. It offers people an opportunity to think about values and leadership from a comprehensive perspective that really focuses on values and making organizations more successful and more ethical. The Anderson School of Management has ACSB accreditation, the Association for the Advancement of Colleges and Schools of Business. Uh, less than 5% of business schools worldwide have that accreditation. And in fact, we're unique that we have uh, accreditation in both business and in accounting. So when you come to the Anderson School, you can be assured that this program is competitive with any of the other top programs in the country in terms of the EMBA. Whatever the reason is that the students enter the program, they all have one thing in common. They all desire to make an impact. Um, the Executive MBA program gives individuals the tools they need to become leaders and to make a true impact in their fields. The reality is uh, education is the key. I mean, that's why people who are financially comfortable on average are better educated, they have marketable skills, but today we're living in an environment in which people are paid for what they're capable of doing and what they know. You have to continually be improving, uh, and that's what we offer in the Executive MBA program. If anyone is looking to transition from managing routines to really inspiring and leading people in their organizations, then I encourage you to check out the programs here at the Anderson School of Management. Well, that's all the time we have this week on Who Rocks New Mexico, and I hope you've enjoyed the show as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. For more information on the people that you saw today on the show, visit us online at whorocksnm.com. And remember, when you're out and about, if you see our men and women in uniform, stop them and thank them for their service. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you right back here again next week on KOB4 for another episode of Who Rocks New Mexico.